with another one and i'm back with another one and i'm back and i'm back okay all seriousness yeah so this video and this message here is based around me working smarter and not harder with god i feel like i've always portrayed that i'm a believer that i'm intentional about my relationship with christ and him being heavy in my business and basically giving me direction on what to do and how to do it as an entrepreneur i've always felt that in my mind i let god be the forefront of my career it wasn't until last week where i received a thump on the forehead from god um that he really wasn't in control of my business the way I thought he was. Um, and there were things that I would think to myself maybe two years into me having the hair salon. And I would always think like, yo, I don't feel like I'm supposed to be working this hard. Like at that point in time, my husband was, and y'all can hear me reference him a lot because we real life are friends and we talk a lot. We bounce ideas off each other. That's just who we are. Boom. So he was like really, really, really heavy on Gary Vaynerchuk. And if anybody knows Gary V, that man cuss. He get his point across and don't care how he gets it to people. Um, and his frame of reference for work is always doing, doing, doing. Like he openly talks about how he wakes up at three in the morning because the rest of the world is asleep and doing all this stuff and i'm like taking all this stuff in that Des is telling me and i'm just like i don't i and i try y'all i'm like yo if i ain't doing this at two o'clock and moving on to this at three and four i'm not productive i grinding it out as an entrepreneur and it really like had me dealing with self-doubt because i was thinking in my mind like okay if I'm not productive all the time, then basically I'm not getting anything done. Like, you ain't serious about the salon, sis. You ain't maximizing all your opportunities and all your potential. So, it would be like, I would be going back and forth with myself on, okay, you doing good. Okay, no, take a break. Okay, you need to turn it up a notch. Are you done good up there? Bring it down. Like, that, that's how it was. And I'm talking to God, and I'm like, God, I don't feel like I'm supposed to be working is hard and the toil between your flesh and your spirit is real because there'll be times i'll be talking to god and he's just like did i call you to work this hard and i'm like i don't feel you have called me to work this hard so then it's times where it's like girl you getting it you getting it you see the results and i would be crashing again like after i'm off this productive high so i feel like and not even I feel like I know that when I closed down the salon and I moved into the salon suite, I was telling Desmond, I was like, I feel like for the first time in a while that I'm exactly where God wants me to be. And I shared it with one of my clients that I'm really close with. And I was just like, I know what I'm doing here, but I really don't know what I'm doing here. If you get it in a sense, like I know God called me to close down the salon and to move into the salon suite um and i know what my goals are but as far as firm execution on what i should be doing and how i should be doing it um i really don't know and i'm a vision oriented person like i write in these notebooks all the time like my goals stuff that i want to do because with that i'm able to go back and see the progress that i made and when I got to this space, it was weird. And I'm just like, I don't know, but I just know I'm supposed to be here. So I've been listening to this podcast. Some of you all may know by Tatum Tamia. It's called Blessed and Bossed Up. Forgive me, I forget the name of it originally before she basically switched the positions on it. So it was basically Tatum and Milan who were doing a podcast on entrepreneurs and then there would be topics on just things that you dealt with as an entrepreneur that nobody was really talking about so i had taken like a big hiatus from it unintentionally just you know life happens um and i was just doing other things so 
Desmond's big on podcasts, so he had been listening to them, and I was like, I ain't really a fan of the podcast he be listening to, but I have a few that I like. Um, so I was like, let me check out Tatum's podcast and let me go back and listen to and see basically what has been taking place since she switched gears with her podcast. Excuse me. So now hers is called Blessed and Bossed Up, and it's catered towards the entrepreneur who is basically letting God run their business, like who's Christian and an entrepreneur. And y'all, when I tell you, in a polite way, the first podcast that I listened to since the change read me for Phil, it read me. It read me. Lay me out in a library, chapters open. Okay. Um, but I needed it. And it was points she was hitting and things that she was talking about that were all in confirmation. I promise, like literally up to a week. It was like two weeks and up to one week or whatever before I started listening to it that God was speaking to me and was basically depositing thoughts of stuff that I needed to work on and things that I needed to do. Like, I would say before I got to this point, it was like three weeks prior that God was like, I need you to get up at 6 a.m. and I need you to meet me. And I'm like, God, like, we tried this before. I did it good for two weeks and that was it. I like to sleep. Listen, the only time that I was getting up at 6 a.m. in the past was to take my behind to the gym. So I was like, okay, Lord, like, I can't do 6. Can I do 6.30? No, he wanted 6. So I was stalling. Um, and so with listening to her podcast, she referenced her waking up at 5 a.m. meeting with God. And she was, Tatum's very transparent about her process, y'all. It, I really recommend listening to her podcast. Like, she's a powerhouse. Um, so she was saying how God wanted her to wake up at 5 a.m. And she was just basically comparing her lifestyle, um, to when she was doing things in her own strength to now when she let God truly give her direction on her business. And she was hitting some points and I'm like, yo, that's so true. So for example, she would say she would, in the natural, she would wake up at 5 a.m. to get stuff done for her company and would be working and working and working. And I remember on the former podcast she had, she was talking about being detail oriented and having great time management on your day. So you're basically not wasting time. So now with the blessed and bossed up podcast, she was covering when she wakes up in the morning to meditate with God and meet with him and pray and read her Bible. He's already given her what he needs her to do in that day or in that particular season. And she was just saying like, y'all, when I do those things, um, I get them done and I'm not tired. Like, I really have time to rest. And I promise y'all, these were all the things, all the things I was thinking about when I was working in my own flesh. Like, I'm like, God, I know you called me to be an entrepreneur. I know you called me to do this. But to the extent of the toll that it's taken on me mentally, physically, and emotionally, like, I don't think you really called me to be working in my own strength like this like this don't feel natural this don't feel like what i'm supposed to be doing um so when i've executed those things and it's been almost a week now or like a week and a half somewhere within that window y'all if you ain't on this side man you you gotta try it now i'm not going to lie to you there are things that God has called me to do as far as sacrificing um, and changing the way I do certain things because I thought I had a plan or basically a vision written out for how I wanted to execute certain stuff with Pivot. And I think it was the first or second meeting that I had with God at 6 in the morning. And he scratched all of that. And I'm just like, like... You mean to tell me I can't do this? I can't. And even like stuff personally, like stuff in my character, like he's telling me to do. And I'm like, God, I don't know how I'm going to get this done because I don't want to do it. But guess what? I did it. So from Monday to now, there have been things that God has asked me to do each day pertaining to this business. And one morning when I woke up and I met with him and he was telling me I need you to do this, 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 and this. And I'm like, that don't make sense. Y'all, I did those things and everything just falls into place like a puzzle piece. So what I'm here to say is like, basically, 
me letting God run my business and we be co-owner together has been amazing. Now, I'm not here to say it's going to be like sweets and rainbows and all of that good stuff throughout the journey because naturally we toil with things in the flesh. But since putting these practices into play, I have felt so much relief like to get stuff done and feel efficient. Like even if he's only told me three things to do that day and I've executed those three things in a manner which he's asked, I feel so fulfilled. I don't feel burnt out. I have the energy to truly be what I need to be at home for my family and for myself. And my thing is just like, if I had taken the time then to do what I'm doing now, who knows where I would be? So what I'm here to say is for any entrepreneurs out there, um, and if you are Christian based and are you, and you are a true believer in God, really take the time to listen to Tatum's Blessed and Bossed Up podcast. It'll truly benefit your spirit. And I'm telling y'all, like, I ain't been the same. Like, I don't, the prayers that they're going to be praying for, these listeners that listen to her podcast, like, all of that, like, it really ignited a fire. Um, and I just feel so intentional now, like. So, yeah, I'm going to just look at my notebook to make sure I've hit all my points. Um, basically, I have here that waking up at 6 a.m. to pray and meditate and read scripture. Um, There's so many things that God gives me in that time that I appreciate. And a lot of times, like, when he's saying stuff, I'm like, is it you or is it me? But, like, I've known it's him based upon a series of things that have taken place after those meetings. Okay, so... um basically god in those times he's given me direction on what i need to do for the business and how to execute it and i feel like now with doing this i feel like i'm truly operating in my purpose like i told Dez last night hair is my passion but i believe like there's a finite area within doing hair that my passion is truly lit and on fire and i figured out what that is um so, yeah, I pretty much hit on my points for y'all. I pray that this is short and sweet. Um, so, yeah, being an entrepreneur, it takes work, especially being a Christian-based entrepreneur because there are things that I feel that God may call you to do that ain't nobody else doing. And it may not look like it makes sense starting out. Um, so that's pretty much all I have for today. I'm glad I'm able to share this with you all. Even if you come across this message and it might not hit for you, if you know somebody that it will touch and it will reach, definitely send this to them and make sure, again, that you listen to Tatum's podcast. I'm going to try to attach it to this video. I believe I should. It's called Blessed and Bossed Up. And her Instagram name is Tatum Tamia. And Blessed and Bossed Up's Instagram is just Blessed and Bossed Up. Okay. Bye, guys. Love you.